anniversary of Naval Station Norfolk. You've probably seen the massive military ships dock there. Sailors are responsible for moving those ships, making sure they are where they need to be. It's all about Navy know-how. Reporter Marcella Robertson shows us exactly how those sailors get the job done. This is Naval Station Norfolk. It is the largest naval base in the entire world. It's home to dozens and dozens of military ships. But have you ever thought about what it takes to move those ships and get them where they need to be and when? We wanted to give you a closer look at exactly how it's done. Day in and day out. Norfolk Control. These sailors are hard at work. Bravo boat, uh, Norfolk Border Control. Yeah, good morning again. 68 military ships call Naval Station Norfolk home. Everything from destroyers to carriers. And each ship has a mission. Monterey's in, Bill. Inside this small tower that overlooks the piers. They're manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's where you'll find tower watch standards. PSB will be opening shortly. They're in charge of moving the ships making sure they're exactly where they need to be. Control. The tower watch standers, um, their job is to be the eyes and ears of the waterfront. Yep, head one bell. But moving these massive vessels is no easy feat. Um, it's like a game of Tetris. Except this game involves billion dollar ships. Uh, here five, birth one. And a lot more manpower. Captain Bob, permission to leave. It all starts with scheduling, figuring out which ships need to leave port and which ones are coming home. Captain, good morning again. On any given day, our average uh, busy day is about 10 to 13 moves, um, ships getting in and out. The watchstanders have a lot on their plate. They track commercial ships, small boats, barges, and even divers on port. The job of the tower watchstanders is to ensure that the divers and the small boats and the ships and the tugboats never meet each other um, unintentionally. Commence diving operations, Pier 10, Pier 6. Without their okay, nothing is moving anywhere. As soon as they're open, you have permission to leave. The sailors in the tower are the eyes in the sky, but the dock masters verifying no small boats are the eyes on the ground. When you pull that line, make sure you walk it down. And their role We're in the clear. is just as important. We're really their eyes. 15. And guiding them to where they need to go. 200 foot's mark. They're the ones actually walking the ships in. 200, okay. We're talking with talking with tower and scheduling to make sure that we put the ship exactly where it needs to be. They're in constant communication. 100 feet, sir. 100. With people called pilots. They are the ones that board the ship as it's coming in, navigating it right back to its pier. 50 feet. They make sure every sailor on every ship. Yeah, just grab that side and start walking. Coming in or out stays safe. If you're good there, sir, we can work with it. And when you're in charge of moving ships as big as these. There's very little room for error. For the people responsible for moving these ships, it's all about trust. Without all of us working as a group, we wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> It's a job that many people may not even know exists, but it's one they're proud to do. Reporting from Naval Station Norfolk, Marcella Robertson. Y'all be safe. 13 News Now. And you just saw a small portion of a special we are working on for.